Mo Rocca is visiting a New York City institution that's no question a cut above. At the edge of Manhattan's Little Italy sits a butcher shop virtually frozen in time since it opened in 1923. I joke many times and I say it's half museum, half butcher shop. I should like charge admission because so many people come in and they're just like, is this real? Jennifer Prezioso is the butcher, owner and fourth ever employee of Albanese Meats and Poultry following in the footsteps of her grandpa, Mo, and before him, her great-grandparents. This is my great-grandma's handwriting. It's a very old book, I guess you could say, of orders. This is from March 1st, 1934. Back then, this is where you came for fresh meat. This whole block was full of butchers. They used to sell the cattle at Canal Street. Albanese's, which turns 100 next year. Right. Enjoy. Thank Good to see you. Keep the rest. Oh, thank you. Is the only butcher shop left on the block. I can make franchise mm. with the butter and lemon. And Bonus has been coming here since she was a kid. Come here when you think of old times. If this feels like the set of a TV show, well, it has been. We got the rabbi! In fact, Prezioso was acting on stage when Grandpa Mo started slowing down and she stepped in to help out. <laughs> she was like, well, I thought you want to act. Like, that's what you love to do. And I was like, I do, but I also love to be here and tell our story every day. <laughs> what started as driving her grandpa to work turned into an apprenticeship. And then Mo popped the question. He said, so... When I die, are you going to take over the store? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I think I could do it. Had you been thinking about that, or did it just suddenly come out of you? I think maybe a little of both. <laughs> In April 2020, Mo Albanese, just shy of 96, died after contracting COVID. You never feel like you have enough time. <laughs> um, with those kind of people that you love. And so Jennifer Prezioso is today manning the shop solo, sort of. I think he's up there very antsy like this, waiting. Like, let's go, come on, on the ammo. What are we doing, what are we doing? I feel him excited for what's to come. And oh, we have a new lease on the store, so we're gonna be here for a few more years. And I look forward to that too.